Hey guys, it's Duke. I receive a lot of questions about Hey Duke, can you create tutorials on how to parse in JSON? How to download data from a URL after you downloading those data from a REST API maybe? Then usually you have the return data in type of JSON data or JSON data. How you can use those JSON data in your app into a complete project. That is our topic in the next this episode and the next two episodes of the code hangout okay so we're going to learn about how to create this app the complete app like this now all of the episodes in this one we do not got it from hard coded data but rather from a JSON file and that JSON file is the data returned from my RSS feed the RSS feed in uh, actually it is in X XML format but there's a way that we can turn from XML to JSON so the basic line here we want to use JSON and turn it into a table view, a beautiful table view like this. This three parts include part number one, we're going to learn about what is JSON, how you can construct your own JSON data, and we will import the data that I already downloaded from my blog, which is the thing that you are seeing on the screen right now. In part two, we go into the real hard coding stuff. We go and then learn how we can parse JSON into foundation object in Swift and part three we make everything work we put all of the data turn it into object and then put it populated on a table view okay sounds good let's do this here is the starter project that I prepare for you it has a Xcode project and a file called duxblock.json it is the data that we'll use for our app today so I will use the complete project over here and um, this is our data. Now, what is JSON? JSON stands for, or sometimes people call it JSON. Uh, either way is fine. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It means that it's um, it's just a way to format data. Okay, and it's very popular these days. Uh, before we have XML, now today people still use XML. <coughs> Excuse me. People will still use XML, but JSON is way more efficient and way more easier to manipulate and using it and storing data in a lightweight way. It is usually when you download data from the internet, from a server, maybe from Instagram, um, in uh, from Instagram or from Twitter, from Facebook, from Foursquare, all of those things. It is in JSON format. So let's learn how to do that in this video, okay? Um, I will create a class, I'm sorry, a file called hit command n, and we'll create an other file, an empty file, and we'll call this guy the block dot JSON, okay? Remember that it has to be the block dot JSON, and then I'll put it inside the the block, not outside of that. And then the group will put it in the model because the data is the model belongs to the model group. Uh, the model I am referring to is MVC model view controller. Okay. So now let's create some JSON data so that you can understand what it is, how you can create it, and then because you can create it, then later on you can use it. Okay. So let's say I want to have the JSON, a JSON data, and I will use that instead of the square brackets that we usually do in Swift, but now I use the curly braces. It is a chunk of code, a chunk of data, and inside that is our JSON data and we have key value pair. It's just like the dictionary in Swift. And as it turns out, later on when you translate from or you uh, parse that from JSON to your foundation objects, you usually use dictionaries and arrays and strings and variables, those things, okay? So now I have, let's say I have a key called feed and this feed has like this, okay? The feed over here, let me turn it onto like that looks better and the fit here it has the value is another dictionary so the key is a string but the value is a dictionary and inside this how about we have let's say the title of my block is another string okay code hangout with duck and then the tran 
dot il like that so it's my block and then a comma separates different values inside a dictionary i was just referring to you this is a dictionary because in fact it really like that okay and then how about another one we have a link the link to the block it's http slash slash dictionary dot il slash block something like that and a comma and how about the author of the block i'll put in my name over here dictionary Okay. This syntax seems very familiar to you, right? It has a key and a value, or in this case, it has a key and the value is another dictionary. Okay, so that's that. Let's have a comma outside of this one. How about have another one? And this one is our array of episodes. JSON also has that notation to describe an array also. So let's have episodes like this, a key, and the value is an array like that okay which is the bracket and so and then inside this we have different key value pair like that okay and i will put it inside this like that cool so how about episode number one i have the title is yeah, something like 63 um, search apis which is another episode here talking about the search apis in ios 9 we have another one called something like the link to the episode. The link to the episode, how about we have http slash slash dictionary.io slash code hangout number 63. It is just the uh, convention that I use to name my code hangout. Okay, so it's like that. And then after this, you maybe you have another uh, thing like this. Okay, so you have another pair of value another episodes like that okay so it is the way that you can create um, data in json now instead of now we creating by hand our own i already prepared that for you so if you go over our complete project over here or the start project you have double click onto this and you have a bunch of data so i will copy this guy okay and then i will delete this guy and paste it over here now I, it's not accidental that I use it and then I make it right and then delete it like that. I, ju I just want you to understand the basic construct of JSON and because it's really important that you understand that first and then we use it. Okay, so it's the same. We have an array like this and the feet. Okay, a key value pair and this also a key value pair having. Each of that is each of the value is the diction a dictionary. Now for each of the episode, we have the title, the link, the publication dates, the author, description, and thumbnail URL. Okay, so that's that's how you can create JSON in Swift. Now let me walk you through the starter project a little bit, and then in the next part, part two of this series, we are going to go and translate JSON data. How we can get the data from a file like this, or in from the internet, and then we turn that into foundation object. Okay. So if you go over another uh, uh, model class called episode, this class. It models the same thing inside our blog post over here. Each of the episode has the title, it has the description, thumbnail URL created at which is a string, author and URL to the post to the episode. Okay, and then another class called network service. It has a bunch of code of code over here because it this one is just downloading an image from a URL, which I do another episode for you guys. Um, this episode we don't talk about downloading image from the internet because it is outside of the scope. Okay, and another class is a course custom view a custom cell for our tail view cells over here the tail view cells right, and then the one that we use um, is episodes table view controller it is the table view controller that controls all the table view all the data source episodes and the delegates selects the table view cells all of those things we will talk about to uh in i usually says tomorrow but we'll see it in part two part two of this series we're going to learn how we can parse json how at first we'll learn how we can get data from this file over here 
okay this is a separate file from any of our project so how we can download or get that data into our project and then we will parse that we will translate that into the object like dictionary array variables of string uh, numbers url ns url all of those things we'll talk about that in part two of this series so I hope that you enjoy this you will learn about how to create json how to use that how to import json from a different file to this so i hope that you enjoy this as much as i enjoy creating it for you so if you have any questions feel free to post it right down below go to part two and enjoy this i hope that you enjoy this and i will see you in part number two